By now you've probably discovered the dialogue flow, the AI from Google, is gonna help you make your many chatbots more responsive to messages you receive from your users. In part one, I covered why you need dialogue flow, how it works with some very basic examples, how to connect your bot to dialogue flow for free, and how to start training your AI to make your bot smarter. So if you haven't seen part one, I'd suggest going through that first before diving into part two. Um, and if, you're, uh, if you've seen part one, then uh, let's get into part two. I'm gonna show you how to use AI to understand what the user intended when they messaged you, but we're gonna respond with many chat. So in part one, I had this simple, what Dialogflow calls an intent, and it captures the things that users say, what they call training phrases. So we have, hi, what's happening, what's up, and, and so on. And then we have a basic text response, hey, down here. So uh, this is how that works. We'll just do a quick recap. And there we got a response from Dialogflow in our many chat demo that we've just created for this video. So now I'm gonna show you how to redirect your responses to a many chat flow, rather than use dialogue flow to respond to your users. So if you haven't done so already, you're gonna to need to connect a bot to Janice, and you can see part one for that, or just go to Slack and just say add a bot. Let's go to Slack. Now I've already connected my, my many chat bot uh, to Janice, so I would just say uh, my bots, and uh, Janice will ask you which bot you want to talk about. So you pick from a list, and let's find our bot many chat demo. There it is. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to go to our bot settings in many chat, and we need to go to the API tab, and we're going to click. Uh, we're sorry, we're going to copy the token to our clipboard and then click the add token button below. So there's the add token. So let's go get it. So here we are in many chat. This is our demo bot. I'm going to go to settings. I'll navigate over to API and there it says get token. So let's do that. Let's copy. And now let's go back to Slack and click this add token button. And we'll give that token to Janice. A window will pop up. Uh, this is the name of the bot. This is uh, the dialogue flow agent I'm using. This is the bot platform, bot builder that I'm using. And just paste it right in here. So let's do that. And we're going to click save. Okay, so now our settings for our bot have been updated. And uh, what we'll want to do is once you provided that that token, that's key. So once you've provided that, then you're all set to create a flow redirect from Dialogflow. Uh, of course, I'm assuming that you've already integrated Janice into your many chat bot. And that's also, again, that's covered in, in part one of this series. But let's redirect from Dialogflow to many chat. So let's go to our Dialogflow response, okay? And what you're gonna need to do is you're need to gonna respond with a custom payload. So you'll see here, if you click add responses, You've got a text response and you've got custom payload. And so we could keep this text response here. Hey, um, but I'm going to want to redirect to my welcome message in many chat. So let's just get rid of this. You just go over this little trash can and delete it. And then what we'll do is we're going to click add responses. Oops, didn't want to add a text response. We'll just click add responses. So let's click that and custom payload. Okay, so what you're gonna need to do here is you're just gonna need to add three lines of code that look just like this. I'm gonna copy that in, go back to here. Now I could have, uh, I could have written this code out uh, but that's a pain, so I've just copied it. So now what you'll need to do is you'll need to get the flow ID for the redirect. In this example, when a user says hi, or any of these, these similar phrases here, uh, I'm going to want to redirect the user to the welcome message. So we need to get the flow ID for the welcome message. So to get the flow ID, we go to many chat, and then we go to our flows. 
And let's click into our welcome message. And this is our welcome message. And what you'll need to do is you'll need to look at the URL. So look up here. See that? Copy that. The end of the URL, anything after that forward slash, that is your flow ID. So just copy the flow uh, ID to your clipboard at this point. And then in dialogue flow, go back here. And in between these two quotes, just paste the flow. And let's just save that. Done. So we'll probably want to give it uh, a, a few seconds to train. So I might as well explain something else. These flows, these flow IDs, they're different. So you'll see that if I go to a, a different flow, let's go back to my flows and you'll see here, let's go to this one for backpacks. This is an e-commerce demo. Um, here is the flow ID after this, after the forward slash, it's not welcome. It's this content and a whole bunch of numbers. So I'll copy that to my clipboard here, right? So we already have one, we've had the, we have the redirect set up for this welcome intent. So let's see if that works. There you go. That is the welcome message from my many chat bot. Really cool. Um, let's go to a different intent. Let's go to this backpacks intent that I've created for the demo. And let me go right, where is it? Backpacks. Okay, so this is an interested buyer in backpacks. Somebody says, I want a backpack. Do you have backpacks? I need a backpack. And we'll want to just paste in that flow ID. That's the flow ID that we got from here in the URL for this flow. Remember this? Okay. There it is. So what does a user say? I want a backpack. All right, so we'll save that. I'm going to test that one in a second. I want to give the AI, and you'll need to give the AI sometimes a few seconds to really learn what you're training it. But I'll show you one other interesting thing that's worth knowing here uh, with flow IDs and how to get them from you, the URLs. Uh, if you have a folder, actually, let's use this one. You'll see here in the folder, I have a flow and I click that it's test flow. Right. So in the test, this has got a different URL. You see, you have these numbers here and these two dashes. You'll want to ignore those. So that's what many chat includes in the URL to indicate it's a folder. But anything after the dashes is the flow. ID. And so you'll want to copy that. Ignore this, copy that. Okay, so now let's go back here. And uh, let's just see if this one works. We should get redirected to my backpack flow. I want a backpack. And there we go. Sure, do you need something small for school or something larger for camping and exploring the world? There you go. So we've redirected to a many chat flow and we've done a couple as some really uh, quick examples. But, you know, writing code is a bit of a pain and you can do it. You can work directly from the, the interface. I mean, what I generally do is uh, just so you know, this makes it a little bit easier. All you need to do is just say train to Janice. And you'll see here that uh, Janice opened a training channel for you. And you can click this link. I can see it's highlighted here, but you just, you know, you can click the link. And, uh, you know, here's how this channel works. You can send a message and, uh, and your dialogue flow agent will respond. So we can send, you know, any message. And you'll see here that Janice responds to your messages with this one reply. That's Janice replying to your message. And the, these messages are hitting your dialogue flow agent. So, uh, you know, anything you send uh, in here is going directly to dialogue flow. And you, it's a really quick way to test out uh, uh, what users say and your responses. And 
I have, you know, if you have other people on your team, you can mention them. So if I want to mention Mike Nathanson, who's on my team, I just mentioned him. And uh, I can say, can you help? And so we can train together. So I'd have to invite him to this channel and then, you know, he can take over or we can work together. Um, let's say I want to, let's say I'm going to say I need some shoes. This is just, uh, let's do an example here. I need some shoes. So you see, we don't have a, a reply to that. Um, and, uh, you know, if you click this link, then you've got dialogue flow training tools built right into Slack. And so, you know, uh, dialogue, Janice will actually show you what it, the, your message, this is the user's message, and this is what it matches to. So it matches to our, our default fallback intent in dialogue flow. And, uh, what we'll want to do is we'll want to categorize this message because we want to train the bot to respond to that. So you just click change because we want to change the intent uh, so that the user's message doesn't trigger the fallback. And you'll be presented with a few options. So you can save it as a new intent in dialogue flow, add the user's message to an existing intent. So as something users say, that's part of another intent, or I could just reply here um, with a a new intent name. And so actually, let's do that. I'll just call it shoe buyer. Okay, so now you can see the intent has actually been created in Dialogflow. It says it match intent shoe buyer. And, um, you know, I, I, shoe buyer is probably a good name because you're going to get a long list of intents and you're going to want to make it easy to manage. So I could add other things like... Uh, Let's add, you just pick this menu. What would you like to do? And let's add what users say. And you just enter it here. I want shoes. And uh, do you have shoes? <laughs> so any any one of these phrases are, are things that users say. And you can see that we've really stripped out all of the technical jargon from dialogue flow to make it really easy for people in operational roles, marketers, sales, customer service to all be active participants in your dialogue flow training. And this is all free. It's all built right into Slack and, and part of Janice's free forever service. So uh, now what we want to do is let's say we want to uh, redirect to ManyChat. Well, you can do that directly from here too. So what would you like to do? I want to add a ManyChat flow redirect. So you just pick this and it says reply with a ManyChat flow ID. So I'll just go back to my spreadsheet here and uh let's just go to this one copy that paste that in and just click enter all right now you can see what users say and your responses and in this response i could have different response types but i'm just redirecting so there's the id and uh okay now let's go back to dialog flow and we'll want to go to our intents and yes. And you might have to refresh dialogue flow to see anything you trained from Slack, but the intent was called shoe buyer and there it is. And you can click that. And here are the things we added that users say, and here's our redirect response. And you can see that Janice wrote the code out for you. So you didn't have to. And stay tuned for episode three. I'm going to show you what entities are. Thanks for watching.